Marcus Willinger, head of the Austrian Technical and Safety Committee for hang gliding and paragliding, has been an expert designer of parachute safety equipment for over 25 years. Together with his team, he has developed a unique rescue system which enhances the safety of being in high-rise buildings dramatically. In the very beginning, in the fall of 2001, the team started designing the first prototypes of eVest. Uh, the development time for the system took nearly a year. We did uh, extensive tests of uh, the glider, the opening system, the airbag system. It was quite hard because it's new terrain to actually get it uh, uh, working properly in this difficult scenario, like uh, in a building in between streets combined with uh, heat and stuff. We tested it in different cities, different locations. The deployment system, as well as the stability and glide performance of the eVest, was started to be evaluated in the first design stage. Numerous unmanned tests from cranes and bridges were undertaken. The minimum safety altitude of the glider turned out to be the 12th floor. The highest fire ladders in the world only reached the 15th floor. Above that, there has been basically no working emergency rescue system existing till now. During the first production process, the deployment system and the glider were being optimized continually. Special ways of controlling the deployment of the glider were found. For the proper function, a unique technique of folding and packing of the glider and airbag into the container is required. Another part in designing the e-vest was developing the airbag system. This time, a test pilot launched the glider. After a long series of unmanned tests, people tested the system. Furthermore, the airbag system was attached to the system to work together in the right way. E-Vest was dropped from planes, paragliders, bridges, walls and finally buildings. To define the stability of the glider itself, we also did a lot of in-flight testing in different weather conditions. We tested it in wind speeds up to over 30 kilometers per hour. We had it, uh, uh, let it crash into walls to see what happens and uh, the glider stays very stable even in these conditions. We tested according to parachute standards and all the materials which are used are aviation quality materials. Even when put to the test under extreme conditions in strong winds, the glider remains stable and intact without any pilot input. Together with professional fire experts, the system was optimized for escapes and use under various emergency scenarios like fire, smoke fumes and so on. Finally, people tested the system from high-rise buildings. Well, I hope you never need it, but just like every house has a fire extinguisher, every room in a high-rise building should have an e-vest. For example, in case of fire in a hallway, on the floor you are staying, you may be trapped in a high-rise building with no other way to escape than through a window or balcony and then by air. Time is short. Poisonous smoke fumes may make you unconscious very soon. Fire and heat is coming closer. With e-vest, you can escape to safety in less than one minute. Actually, there is no other way than e-vest.